Hello, so your project is complete, the part, this part of your project is complete and I'll go through the source code now. It is extremely important that you keep this video secure with you because I'm going through the source code right now and it has to be kept secure with you because you might need it in the future. So here I go. The first thing you'll notice is, is that we have a few game objects over here. I'll turn the sport, uh, I should actually rename this, I should uh, call this sport car, not sport bike, so sport car, and I'll overwrite the name. Okay. So if you take a look at these prefabs, these are basically prefabs which I've used. And these are like assets that are for Unity. There are three cars or three vehicles and all of those vehicles have a car controller script. I'll turn all three of them on right now. So these are all three. I'll go and I'll explain each and every one individually. If you take a look at the car controller script, it has a rigid body, uh, rigid body variable for the back tire and the front tire. I'll go over those in a second. First I'll open Visual Studio and I'll tell you how they're working. I apologize that it takes a little while for Visual Studio to open. Okay, your car is being handled by 27 lines of code. The rigid body variables are here, the speed variable is here, but the speed variable can be changed in the inspector, which basically means that whenever anybody wants to change the speed, they can add a value to over here and then change the speed at which the tire rotates. This is an update function which is checking for input, the horizontal input, which is left and right. In the fixed update, we are actually adding torque to the tires, and that's it. That is the entire code for handling the, the rotation of the tires. Once we go back into, the, into any of the prefabs, you'll see that each and every one of the, each and every one of the body parts is separate. So you've got car, body, head, you've got front tire and back tire. The front tire and back tire have got a circle collider and they've got a rigid body. The rigid body 2D is dynamic and it has a no friction physics material or basically it is called tire friction but it basically has a almost a zero friction. It has zero bounciness but almost zero friction, near to zero friction. So that's what it is. The 0 0.6 friction is enough to stop the car where it is after it has stopped receiving any input. The front and back tires have basically the same components and the car controller has got wheel joints. The rigid body of the tires have been passed in these wheel joints and the anchor has been adjusted which you can see here, this is the anchor and the wheel joint 2D. It's directly, well, almost in the middle of the tires and that's the reason why we have the suspension functions that you see in your game. So if I play, if I hit play, you'll see that the there's this slight springiness in the game. This is the wheel joint that is doing it. So each and every car has a different function. Some cars are faster some cars are not very good at climbing. This car is very good at actually taking slopes, but 
it is very it, it is not that good at climbing slopes so we've also got the bike which it was required I hit play and you'll see that the bike will also bounce it is slightly more efficient at taking slopes but it is also slower so that's the difference so if you take a look at the car it was struggling to climb but this can climb easily however it's also slightly you can say slightly uh, slower than the cop car and then you have the sports car which is this and all of these have the same functions that's just that the behavior is different so the, sp uh, the car is actually pretty efficient the problem is that uh, when the user selects this he'll have to manage his or her jump because if the jump is incorrect then the nose of the car will hit the ground and the car will flip so the user has to actually put a little bit of effort into making this uh, car work so you can see that the nose is nose hit and the wheels nearly came off they'll never come off though but that's the effect that we're trying to achieve so I hope this explains the source code and um, please let me know what you want next if you want the UI next we'll do the UI next if you want the levels next we'll do the levels next and that's what we're going to do